people, old people's units. I love history. I love seeing stuff. And, you know, the generation, they went through wars. They went through depressions. They went through all kind of stuff. And you just don't know what you're going to find. And sometimes I found so many amazing treasures. And let's see what's in this amazing treasure tackle box. Oh, what is this? boxes with a key in it. So right now it's locked, now it's unlocked. All right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's why I do it. Hello, how we doing today? Yes, I'm talking to you. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day in Ohio. Actually, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. No, Ohio. Birmingham, Ohio. Yes, and I bought the storage unit online, and you just never know online. I just met the owner. Man, great guy. And he said, I was like, dude, uh, how much for a security deposit? He goes, I don't even need a security deposit. I said, why? He goes, this unit is so good, you're gonna take it all. I never had anyone tell me that before, so I'm excited. Only thing I saw was the pictures, ladies and gentlemen. I spent $750 plus the buyer premium. I've spent, I got almost $1,000 in this unit. The lady ended up passing away, unfortunately. But she had no kin, no one to leave it to. So it went up to auction. There's no one out there that wanted the stuff. Now it's mine. I'm going to do the best I can. And hopefully, it's going to be an awesome unit. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell. You just never know what you're going to see. And once again, the stuff you're going to see in here, you can actually buy it at www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. Oh, no. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Dust, dust, dust. Now, everyone already knows what does Rob love? Dirty, dusty units. I think this one fits the bill. And that is a nice washing machine and dryer. One of the reasons, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I bought the unit. Right here. There's a jewelry box, okay? Number two, down here. There's some Crocs. And Crocs always sell. And number three. Look at this. No one's crossed that. Spider web path. Ready? I'm going through it. Oh, I saw these old lamps. Then I saw back here. And then right here, Shane. Lockbox. So who knows what we're going to find. I can't wait to start going through this stuff, man. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I don't know. Let's Should we go through the jukebox? No, we'll have to go through some other stuff. Let's see what we find. All right. I just can't wait to start going through here. And we'll get to that jewelry box in a minute. Let's just look. Let's see if they put, they took the drawers out and then they filled. <laughs> they use this like a shelf. It's like... Place. China. Look at all these. Looks like you got some brand new mason jars. Always sell. I like brand new stuff. Look at this brand new. Appears to be brand new steamer mop kit. We got some more crocs up here. I have to put these in the truck. So these were the auction. And what we got here? Oh wow. Oh wow, what is this? I see something that looks pretty cool. Oh. Okay. So who knows? You never know with these hodgepodge things. Looks like there's a lot of housework paper, but I thought I saw some kind of toy in here. Some stuffed animals. Oh, John Deere. I like toys. Always a good sign. Get this. 
That's for like Boy Scouts, I think. The dragon. Little beanie babies. So who knows? If it's just autographed or someone just signed a shirt. Let's see if this. It's running shirts, all right. Man, oh, what's that? Shame. Another lockbox. Get to that in a second too. What else is on the shelf? Brand new jars. More brand new mason jars. Brand new mason jars. I like little boxes. Oh, dusty. Bills or page stubs. Let's see. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money. There's another box down here. Huh, what is this? Got some money in there. Nickel, dime, old pictures. Some envelopes of pictures, so. Interesting, interesting. Well, hopefully something good in this box. So we got bills. Bills, and more bills. Well, so far, no. let's see if anything in this jewelry box, Shana. Hey, look at all these boxes over here. Well, we definitely have something right here. You can see their stuff here. So it looks like we got a couple of just necklaces, little chain, is this gold here? So, I don't know, it says something there. No, not cool. Huh. So, let's see what's in here. Oh, this one's empty. Ooh, oh, there's something in that one. But, let's see. Let's look up here real quick. Hmm. These little pictures in here. And the dust is just unbelievable. This stuff's been sitting in here a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, old pictures. Most of these are just kids and grandkids, probably. And who knows? So I don't know. He said there's no family that wanted this stuff. So I don't know why. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought it was a baseball card. No, it's Bing Crosby. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Actually, I'm dreaming of a, hopefully some money in this unit. Oh. That's a good sign, hunting. We like hunting stuff. We do, we do. That's like brand new. Oh, that is brand new, look at that. Wow. This lady has all kind of brand new stuff. An oil-filled heater, I love these heaters. So. We're definitely getting some money. And uh, let's see. Got some earrings in here. Come on, jewelry box. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Got some more earrings. This box says Avon, eh? but you just never know. There's sterling, there's gold from Avon. Looks like a little earring set with a necklace. Not gold, but there's jewelry in the jewelry box. That's always a good sign. Are you silent, Shane? It's always a good sign. Let's see if you want to talk. Oh man, not the best jewelry box I've ever found, Shane. Oh. oh, what the heck? Is there stuff in here? Oh, I thought they were gonna be full. Of Obviously, this person like canning. Mason jar style. So many boxes. So many boxes. Dusty in the box. Got a giant platter. 
my order. Look at this. Pitches. What's this? Some kind of thing to make awesome bows? Wow! I've been looking for that, Shane. It's both fantastic. You got a Bible. You got to look for some money inside. All kind of old papers in here, it looks like. This stuff is like old pictures. And this big box is just loaded with old paperwork. Just never know on the bottom what we can find. Wow, we got a lot more to go through. This lady obviously had lots of stuff in here. It's obviously dirty, it's dusty, it's filthy, and it's packed, it's stacked, and one box can make the difference. One box. So we'll see what else we find. You guys, I didn't realize, look at this. Soldier's manual, motor transport operator. So that's a good sign, the person was in the military. Look at this. 1980. 81 to 82. Interesting. So, these letters and stuff all in here, it could be letters from when they were in the military writing back over here. Now we're going to have to go through all this stuff. You just don't know. We got soldier's notebook. So, you know, some of these letters, they could have something that says who knows where they were, some crazy stuff. P.S. Yeah, so, wow. That makes it more interesting. I always like finding stuff like that. Now I gotta do some research. So was this this lady's son, her husband? You know, you gotta start piecing everything together, find out what's going on. And it's always a mystery game. You just, it's you know, it's a treasure hunt. It's mystery. It's research. It's history. It's that's why I love what I do. All right, man. I'm gonna grab some more stuff. I mean, we found already brand new stuff. Mason jars, there's, I don't know. Let's go over here, I'm gonna grab a box. Oh! This one's heavy, Shane. This, this is like stuff falling off of the ceiling. And, uh, you know, I just, and then I didn't even notice I kicked this a second ago. I, there's a giant, like, I think it's a toolbox. So I'm really getting excited about this unit because it's dirty, it's dusty, no one's been in here. You could tell no one's been in here. And the lady had nice stuff that you could see. I mean, you have jewelry, hey. But who knows about that? I wonder what's in here. Alright, everyone's gonna be like, where's your gloves, Rob? I got them in the truck. This family heritage stoneware, hand painted. Oh my god, that's a big old mixing cup. So that's a measuring cup. I know people. Like, What's a measuring cup? Trust me, I know people. I apologize. I don't make them like that anymore. Cut me some slack. Okay, so this. I always gotta check the bottom to see if it's marked. Could be a high-end crystal. Candy dish. And then there's. Looks like a bunch of plates on them. High plates. And some pie place ladies and gentlemen, there's ones out there by Pyrex that sell for $50, $100, so you've got it, but all glassware. Glassware, it has value. Is this more mason jars? <laughs> more mason jars. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. Oh, you know what I did? Look at this. I didn't realize this. Look at this. The Bissell Spot Bot. Is there anything inside these cracks? You always gotta look at that too. This crack's not marked. So, the marked ones always bring more. Look at the mini shop bag. Oh, what's that? A little outdoor. Wind belt. chime. It's not really working. And this is number eight crack. And the shop bag. So, and then we got a dirt double right here. Oh, look at this. A mini little dirt devil. You know? And all these appliances, they all have value. People need them. And some people don't have as much money as others. Oh my gosh, yeah. Just the 
Oh, yeah. Look at this. That's how, I mean, who knows how long this has been sitting in here. Oh! Oh, shame. Food saver, compound too. And this might be in there. It feels like it's brand new in the box, to be honest with you. It wouldn't surprise me with the way everything else was. I don't know about brand new in the box, but it's in there. A little dusty, it's got the bag and everything. So it's a little yellowed over time, but still, people need the food savers. I always sell them with good money. Oh! sign that's a good sign we can get to that in a minute we can get to that you know it is pretty sunny today Shane and I'm fair skinned man I probably should have had my hat on so look at that flax of sun right there looks what do you think Style? what do you guys think guys comment below yeah let us know what you guys think what is in this box I like this box there's a bunch of boxes in it it's like paperwork, photos, personal items. Amherst Eagles, Outstanding Eagle of the Month, 1977. Ooh. Things in here. Definitely not shoes. <laughs> paperwork. That one says Lorraine County Bank. Gonna be awesome. Remember, Shane, you said find the million dollars. Not this time. Not this time. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like our wedding pictures. Okay, we don't want to bring those up. We have more paperwork. And this looks, appears to be pictures. Oh, though. There we go. Look at that old movie, home movie case. I thought it was going to be, you know, we sold some of these movies lately and they've been doing really well at auction. Look at this old picture. So, I love old stuff, ladies and gentlemen, and I love, you know, people, old people's units. I love history. I love seeing stuff and, you know, the generation, they went through wars, they went through depressions, they went through all kind of stuff and you just don't know what you're going to find and sometimes I found so many amazing treasures and... Let's see what's in this amazing treasure tackle box. Oh, what is this? Totally took me by surprise because I thought it was going to be tackle. This looks like drafting stuff, Shane. Oh, look at the coin down here. 1969. The Apollo 11. Oh, there's another one. So we got 1969 coins. Oh, it's in this little box. <laughs> but these are mechanical pencils, ladies and gentlemen. And believe it or not, these have money. This has money. Oh. Look at this drafting set. I guarantee you. Some of these drafting sets are good cash. So, see? These are little interesting things you find. You just never know. And... You know, Shane and I will probably sell all the drafting stuff in this one box. And then, oh, right there. The Nixon Penny. Yes. The Nixon Penny. Jeez, and getting smaller and tiny. smaller and smaller. You ever saw a Nixon Penny? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh-oh. What else is down there? Little baby. So. Interesting. Oh, what is this? There's more stuff down here. I didn't see it. Japanese banknote, but it's not in there. Your autogram. <laughs> so this stuff's all like 1950s, 60s. So, interesting box. And, uh, you know, it's adding up little by little, money by, you know, little thing here, little thing there. It's all going to add up, but hopefully we'll find some awesome, awesome stuff. You know, I think we should go see what's in the toolbox. What do you think, Shane? That sounds like a plan. These lamps are really nice, though. We got to clean them up. Put Chachi Paparazzi on. Obviously, that's not the top. One goes with that one. We got a couple of these purple ones. All right. The thing is that who knows what's in here, you know? We just thought the tackle box, but it was a drafting set. Now it's a toolbox, 
but it might not be tools. Or it could be. Look at that. Extension cord, look at that. And extension cord. Always use a 40 foot cord. Yeah, look at all these cords. We can always use cords. Brand new saw blade down there. Saw blades ain't cheap. Food saver bags. Christmas light hangers. Nylon rope. There's all kind of weird stuff in here. Craftsman. A nice little set. See, all this stuff adds up. We got a freaking guy with Oh, nice, nice! Brand new. Industrial Riveter. You know? Brand new. Brand new. And new's always easy to sell, right, Shane? Always. What else we got in here? Whatever it was. Looks like a mouse in here or something. I don't know. We got some caulk. All right, so, but this toolbox has two layers. Is there anything on this top layer? No. Is there anything underneath this layer? Oh! We found a gun! Just never know. That's just the weirdest. Why is that in there? Does that make any sense to you? I've been in this business so long, nothing makes sense to me anymore. The only thing that makes sense is second sense. That's right. Right, Shane? And what makes sense makes dollars. No rhyme, no reason. No rhyme, no reason. Someone said I need some new catchphrases. I told that guy, don't watch. <laughs> so, we got more to go through. And, uh, man, I'm interested to see what's in this lockbox right here, Shane. Because I know a lot of people that saw the pictures probably didn't even see that lockbox. So I'm interested, but we'll get to that in one second. Oh, what is this? Chopper? Cuisinart? It's just weird. Is this brand new? Brand new. So guys, you know, all this stuff is adding up, you know. I mean, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars, hundred dollars. I spent almost a grand though. I do got this nice washer and dryer unit. And after I clean these up, probably get about 300 bucks for the pair, maybe more. We'll put them in auction. So we got the lamps. Those are nice lamps. We got new items, but there's so much more back here. Man. Let me move a few things off of here. We'll see what else. Man, I want to get to this lockbox. Let me just pick it up to see if there's anything in there. There's a key inside, kind of. Oh, it's heavy, Shane. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh. All right. We're going to get to that lockbox. Let's go through one more. Let's just look right here. It's just like book, books or something. Let's see what we got here. We got a WBIZ PBS cookbooks. The best of Mayberry. That's the rep. An autograph copy. Who's an autograph by? Right there. By the writer. I was hoping that was autographed by Andy Griffin or Barney Fife. Oh, man. Look at these books. Oh, nice. My daughter's been reading these books. And these might be first edition Twilight books. These are books that are probably going to be worth money. See, first edition, September 2007. Okay, this is a hardback book. It has the dust jacket. And overall, it's in not bad condition, so... We might have the whole set in here, so that's a good sign. That's more money. Breaking Dawn, yep. Eclipse. New Moon. I just don't see the Twilight. Is the first one called Twilight? Maybe, I don't know. What's in this bag? Interesting. Ooh. I'm interested. What could be in here? Uh some kind of like religious stuff. So at first I was all excited, but what's this? Honorable discharge. Garners, but right there it says 
honorable discharge. So his paperwork from the military must have been in here. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna get to this lockbox, Shane. Let me move. I need to move this box. I got caught up into the action as usual. Proud of my life. All right. Please not paperwork. Please not paperwork. Please not paperwork. The only thing that scares me, there's a key. Okay. We never get lock boxes with a key in it. So right now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. All right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's why I do it. That is why I do it, Shane. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Look. Look. Na, na, na. I'm so excited. So excited. Yes. First thing I see is United States Liberty Coins. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Let's take a look. Oh, 1986. Liberty Coins. 100 year Statue of Liberty. Let's see what the paperwork says right here. Proof. Look at that. Half dollar specifications. Oh, that's sweet. So we got these proof coins right here. I like finding coins. Oh, that's always a good sign, huh, Shane? Wow, what else is in here? I see all kind of coins, Shane. Watches. Dinosaur coin. Oh, man. oh, look at these. These have been in here a long time. I don't know what they are. Cedar Point, 1970, the 100th anniversary. That's funny because last year was the 150th anniversary. These are all Cedar Point tokens, 100th anniversary tokens. 50 years ago. Wow. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all this. Oh my gosh, right there. Cedar Point. Looks like a silver dollar. It's a Cedar Point, man. I think storage legends just showed up. He must have smelled the money, ladies and gentlemen. He will not believe what we just found. Oh my you won't God. believe it, man. You go, won't guys. believe it. Lock box full. No way. Dude, we're going no to right way. Now. No way. Oh, oh. Coins. We got a United States no Liberty coin way. set. Silver and half dollar set. Oh, dude, you scored. We got watches. No. Lighters. Look at all these what coins. What the hell is this? Cedar Point. Look at the back. Oh. Wow, guys. And then in here. How cool is that, dude? Look at these. 19. This is the 100th anniversary of Cedar Point coins from 1970. <gasps> no way! Last year was the 150th anniversary. So 51 years ago, these coins are. Oh my gosh, Simeon. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, guys, guys, I'm walking into mayhem right now. Dude, I didn't even know what I was walking into. Oh, dude. So, so okay, so, okay, so, okay, Rob. What is, okay, just a Cedar Point trivia question. What is the, the needle right there? Do you know what that ride's called? Um, oh, I think it's called the Skyscraper, ain't it? Yeah, I think so. Skyscraper Space Needle. I don't know. Space Needle, guys. That is one of the most legendary uh, original uh, Cedar Point rides. That ride was, the sole purpose of that ride was to go up and see the park. It's not a roller coaster, guys. You get in, you go up, you see the park, you go down. Great view. 
Great view, guys. Oh, All my right. gosh. I'm walking into Mayhem. So I'll now, I'll we're just about to start going through these coins here. <sighs> Take a look. Wow, Rob. Silver, silver, silver. So look at that. Silver. Oh, is that 1964? Uh, no. 40? 43! 43! Wait! It's not copper. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's the one we want. <laughs> Wait a minute. No! 56, silver. Silver. All of those are silver. Look at these are all wee pennies here. Wow. Look at this nickel. It looks brand new. What year is this thing? That's not like a 1943? <gasps> no way. Bro, look at that nickel. Bro, that's mint condition, bro. You're going to have to put that in something. I know. It's crazy. You have to. You have People to are going to be yelling at me now because I don't have my uh, my gloves on. So. Oh, my gosh, look, dude. Dude, this is incredible. This made your whole unit. Elk's coin. <gasps> what does that say, Lorraine? How tight is that? Look at that all kind of. That's some, that's silver for sure, but that's like an old a British coin. You know what, Rob? You're becoming a storage legend. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Man. Oh my gosh, Liberty! What does that oh, say? It's wrapped up in here. Nothing. Wow, look at this. This is oh, really oh, oh, oh. United is, States of America. What's really, the other side? Uh, I, you can't barely make it out. Oh my gosh. It's an old one penny. I just don't penny. know. Penny. Yeah. Eighteen hundreds, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. For those of you guys that don't know, pennies used to be the size of fifty cent pieces. Wow. So. What else Dude. we got in here? So we got oh all this change. Yeah. We still haven't gone through. Let's look at these watch. Oh, we still got this watch box. Can we get like a full view of like this whole unit that Rob just scored it? Yes. Shit. Oh, that's nice. It's an Elgin. Ooh. In the original case. I like it. Those those types of watches are sought after by the older generation. No? Oh, there's more Ooh. coins in here. A Nelson. I never heard of a Nelson. Never heard of a Nelson watch? Uh -oh. Those are good watches, bro. Uh, good. Another Apollo coin. Mm. They still currently make Apollo coins to this day. Look at this. 1962 to 1989. You can find this is like one of those calendar things. Wow. So you can, if you move, you can find out place the year under the month and you'll find out what day it is. How cool is this? What dude? is wrapped up in here? Oh my God, I walked up, I walked into some epicness, dude. I know. It, it couldn't have got better, Rob. I'm telling you, you walked in right at the right time. Lockbox and. Ooh, and, more wheat pennies or what? Yeah, it looks like regular pennies, Canadian pennies. I don't see anything too special. Now, guys, wheat pennies are valuable. Don't don't get discouraged with wheat pennies. There's no. still some wheat pennies. They don't have to be the 1943 one. There's pennies out there that are worth, just depends on where the minute. San Francisco mint. Yeah. Always good. Yeah. And then oh, the yes. mint is what? The mint is the little S or D or P. S or D. Now, guys, the mint, guys, is the capital letter below the date, guys. That tells you what Health kind record. of mint the coin is. So we got coins. We got watches. We got silver. We got vintage stuff. And we got storage legends. Sheesh. You know what? I'm going to challenge him to an unboxing duel. So oh, you're going to have to check God. out our yeah, next guys. video, guys. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell. Look at all the past videos. So many great things. Second and sense, we're going to do unboxing challenge against the legends. And we'll see. Winner takes all of my place. All right.